Welcome to another Outside the Box. My name is Elhana Alexis. And um, tonight we are going to speak about something that um, I didn't really plan to speak about it because I was not sure what was going to come out of tonight's um, tonight's events. And so I have a video planned. I'm working on the video for this week, which will come out um, on Thursday or Friday. Um, but I thought that I should make a short video to address this issue because um, it's something that I did not want to make a video about before because I wanted both sides to the story. We had one side of the Terry Barron story. Uh, we had some videos that didn't make sense. And I looked at it and I was like, nah, something's wrong with that. That doesn't make sense. Number one, how do you get such footage? How do you get an opportunity to get such footage of a man dropping a suitcase at the opposition leader's house? And while you're recording, you fail to record the part where the, 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 the opposition leader comes out and takes the bag. Um, the man comes in front of the door. He does not knock the door. He just comes there and stands there. And you can see it from the video. Right, so this didn't make any sense. So I'm, I've been waiting to see what happens. I'm wondering why is Lennox not addressing it? Why is he not answering? And so I figured, I, I thought that he probably had something to hide. That's why he was not saying anything. Um, so tonight we find out that the reason why he's not been saying anything is he's been, he knows that he has evidence of otherwise, and he has um, evidence that can burst that story wide open and that is why he did not say anything and he was waiting for the right time so um tonight was the right time and i must say let me say that i am very disappointed in the dominica liberal party i think this has just cost the dominica liberal party the election now you have to do a lot of damage control to get back from that and you're not going to get back from that within 90 days and to see that, you know, if Lennox Linton did not have uh, security cameras, he would not have been able to get out of this one because a lot of people believed it. Although it was stupid, although any person with common sense would see that video and say something is seriously wrong with that video. But the believers, a lot of people just believe blindly. Whatever they're told, they believe. And so a lot of the Dominica Labour Party supporters, whatever they see, they just believe it because they want i mean they're being told something and they just follow whatever instructions that they're given and this is the new breed of dominican voters and this is something that we need to get rid of this is just the most ridiculous fake news ever ever recorded on video twice the man is coming there and he's putting the suitcase there he's Standing, he stands in front of the door. He does not even knock, which we could clearly see from the video at the bottom. We could clearly see that. He did not knock, right? And then he takes his suitcase and he leaves. Right? So that is where the money went. The $1 million, he went back with his $1 million. So I guess, but that's not the end of the video. So it's 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 crazy. That is a useless attempt. That's a really ridiculous attempt. And whoever came up with this idea, that person just caused the party the 2020 election because this kind of thing is something to cause undecided voters not to vote for the Labour Party. And so here he's trying again because the first time, I guess, they checked, they looked at the footage and it didn't, it wasn't good enough. So he's coming again to try again and put it, put it again this time. This time he flings it across and he stands there just the same way, not ringing the bell. 
um, and now he walks away and he leaves the bag there. So that's the part that that's the part he filmed walking back down the hill without the bag. That's the lowest of lows. Here, this guy comes and he picks up the bag. So that's that's the million dollars again, gone again, right? That's the second attempt. There's a third attempt. You know, this is the lowest of lows. There's, um, I don't think that the Labour Party is going to come out of that. No, it was actually it was it was concocted. For them to use it on the platform i mean if you cannot get anything on the man just keep saying the things that you all guys were saying all the time keep saying that the united workers party um destroyed dominico over four years keep saying that you had to take 20 years to to recover from the damage from the united workers party keep saying that the, lennox linton is a novice lennox linton doesn't know how to lead just keep saying that lennox linton is unemployed keep saying all those things because it i guess it has been working it worked last election so Trust that it will work this election, but don't go down so low as to embarrass yourself and your supporters. And then for the leaders to go out on the platform and talk about it, knowing fully well that it is fake, it was made up, and um, Lennox Linton is not guilty of whatever they're accusing him of. Now you're making Lennox Linton look like a saint. Right now, Lennox Linton is looking like a saint. Right now, people who probably didn't have any reason not to vote Lennox Linton, any solid reason not to vote Lennox Linton, probably even people who had solid reasons not to vote Lennox Linton are now saying, you know what? After a party can pull that, pull that, pull that on the opposition that has not been in power for 20 years, then... I think maybe we should give the opposition a chance. That's what some people have to be thinking because it's ridiculous. Why would you go down so low? Why would you? <laughs> and 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 then this happens. Lennox Linton brings all this out, and the people are still on Facebook talking. They're not ashamed. Zopa, what? This is an embarrassment. And I just would like to see. I'm just curious to know how they're going to deal with it, or how they're going to. You know how they're gonna how they're gonna deal with it? How they how are they gonna spin it? I guess they had no idea that Lennox Linton had security cameras. Because all today and yesterday I've been seeing posts online saying um a doctored video is coming up, they're gonna doctor a video, they're gonna doctor a video about security cameras and I'm I'm saying but if he has security cameras and he has it recorded, that would be a blow in the face. And this is exactly what happened. So people, 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 we need to stop being dishonest. Stop being dishonest. Can we fight a clean election? I mean, after 20 years as the government, do we need to fabricate a story in order to incriminate the opposition leader so that you can gain points on the leader? What Can't your, can't your performance speak for you? Why can't your performance speak for you? Why can't you go on the fact that you've been there for 20 years and you've taken Dominica from point A to point B? That should be your that should be your platform. Not trying to make up stories. I mean, right now you have um right now you have Lennox Linton looking like a saint. Um people who probably did not like him before, right now they're feeling for him and right now they are going to vote him. A lot of the swing votes, the votes that you probably didn't expect to get and you don't know where it's going to go, right now they're going to go to Linton. Because that is nonsense. And if I was in Dominica and I want to vote and I don't know who to vote for, tonight I would have made a decision tonight. Because this is ridiculous. So you have lost a lot of votes. I would like to see how the Dominican Labour Party is going to get out of that. Right? Because the damage has already been done. And I think that they have just given the United Workers Party an edge over them. And it will be very interesting because I believe that some people who have been on the fence or some people who are indecisive, just tonight, they decided who they're going to vote for. And Lennox Linton supporters are even more convinced that they are making the right decision. And I think after tonight, some of Skerritt's supporters, those that think and those that actually have um, have understanding, will sit and think and consider and wonder. I'm not saying that they will change their mind about who they're going to vote, 
but they'll sit and they'll ask, probably ask themselves a question. If you support the party and you cannot say when something is wrong or you cannot admit that that was wrong, then the, you have a problem as well. Election will be held within 98 days. So that means that you guys have less time to try to to try to recover from that crap because it doesn't make sense why would you do something like that um so the attempt the, the whatsapp attempt didn't work well i guess it was a package it was a full package the plan was to bring out the whatsapp and then bring out the photos and then when lennox claimed that he did not know the man then they would bring out the videos and that would just kill everything you know everything would be dead after that lennox linton would not be able to prove himself because if he had to go back to his cameras it would be too late and you know sometimes the surveillance cameras um the storage the person's storage may not be that much and so they may not be able to store so many months so their hope was that he would not be able to have the evidence or they probably just did not notice that he had security cameras on his property um, which is a good thing. So whoever installed those cameras, they did a great job. And that camera was even better than the cameras, the um, surveillance that we see when there's a bank robbery. Because you could see, plain as day, that it was the same so-called Terry Baron in the video. This is a shame and an embarrassment. And I think all labor rights should stay off Facebook. Be quiet, stay off Facebook and think about what the party just did. It's quite embarrassing that the sitting government feels the need to go through such measures and go through such lengths in order to try to discredit the, the, discredit the opposition leader. If Lennox Linton can point a finger on who created this and who distributed it and who is responsible for this, he can now sue. For defamation so now we have the tables are turning right so this was totally uncalled for if the government has been there for 20 years there's no reason why you need to fabricate stories on the opposition leader in order to get an edge you should already have that edge i mean probably the opposition leader probably should be the one trying to make up a story i'm not saying that um this was scary's doing and that i didn't see scary in the video I did not see, I don't think he's the one who's recording the video. I don't think he's the one who distributed the video, but he endorsed it. And um, yeah, it was all right when it was just the party supporters um, distributing it on Facebook and talking about it. Once it gets on the political platform and the, now the political leaders are talking about it, then it becomes something that is endorsed by the party.